sense. Yes, several sets of minutes. Okay. The ballot hand is the meeting we didn't have and actually. I'll make a motion we uh, approve the minutes of the meeting we didn't have. When was that? November. Uh, All right, let's do November 5th. I'll make a motion we approve the minutes of November 5th. Okay. I'll second that. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve the minutes of the November 5th meeting. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. All four paragraphs. This is today's will probably be shorter than four. And then, uh, wow, this is only one. Uh, I'll make a motion we approve the minutes of November the 10th, which is the canvas of the ballots. Awesome. Okay, we have a motion and a second to uh, approve the minutes of the Canvas meeting on November the 10th. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion approved. How did that do? Did you ask a lot of questions? Mm, not really. No, we have what? First two. Thirteen. Or twenty-two. Yeah, twenty-two. Place still one. Yeah. Yeah. Clean sweep of Putnam. <laughs> Up another, no recount on the commission. Picked up another six. Okay, are you going to make a motion to approve that? Yeah. Okay. No, the one you're signing. We already did. No, you didn't. Oh, November the 12th. That's the meeting oh. we didn't have. That's, oh, I'll make a motion we adopt the minutes of November the 12th that we didn't have. Oh, second. We actually have had it. Okay, all right. Sorry. Okay, we have a motion to approve the minutes of the November 12th non meeting. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Then we have two tax roll corrections. So far. Huh? So far, when Carl gets done with his, we should have more this morning. So it's just one person. Yes, and that's just a ground a groundwater management assessment on it. I think it's a something to do with the oil lease. We didn't know it had sold. So that's all that is. Abating it from one person and giving it to the other person. So no value change. Make a motion to adopt the uh, tax roll correction. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve the tax roll corrections as presented. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Okay. Um, yeah, you have more. Um, I make a motion to be. Uh, except uh, Margaret Sims' resignation from the uh, Southwest Kansas area. Do you need to represent that? One second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve the resignation of Margaret Sims on the Southwest Kansas area agency on aging. In favor, say aye. 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 Motion for it. And Commissioner Steinmates will work on it. Yes. Getting Nine. someone else to fill Nine. in. Nine. Nine. a replacement. Don't <laughs> <coughs> you? Yeah. you want to put that in there? No. Yeah. No. Put it. Commissioner Simon, it's a word that I should have got auto correct. thing I would have is I'm working on kind of updating the personnel policy we need to add uh, in order to check one thing off of our audit letter every year we need to add the paragraph that um, any employees involved with the county should take one vacation a year for five consecutive days remember they always know that in there so I just what I did is I just copied that out of the thing we'll just add that um, Another thing we've been kicking around is the, currently it says no vacation time is allowed until 12 months of continuous employment. I'll just tell you some departments all that and some don't. So I would like to either change that wording to six months, because that's doable, easy enough, or just leave it up to the department head. I mean, this is just stuff you can think about. Um, 
If we move it to six months, uh, I feel everybody ought to abide by it. How are you going to enforce it? I don't know. That's see, that's the problem with wording like that. Is I mean, if you if the department heads aren't pro following the policies, then we got problems. Yeah. Did they start accruing vacation time or date of hiring? Well, if it's after the tenth, it, it goes to the next month. But it's said to get hired on the first of November. Mm -hmm. They start accruing. <clears throat> I don't know what you guys think. I say we bring it up in our next department head meeting. Which that is another month. question. You want me to try to get one scheduled for the end of the year? Because it's hard to get this this done so we could Start implement it the first of the year. I mean, we'll still get written up for this week thing next yeah. year, but that's and I'm going to change, um, used to be, we have sick leave for full-time employees, used to be, they had to use it in one hour increments, but I'm going to change that to half hour, because it's no use, if somebody's got a 4.30 or whatever appointment, they shouldn't have to leave before, you know, so. Well, you say get there on time. <laughs> well, but a lot of them don't like to do that. And that's basically the only thing that I have seen that need to be looked at. I mean, I don't know, have you guys looked through the personal policy? Mm -hmm. Okay. If you'd like a copy, I can give you one so you can kind of go through it. That'd be nice. I would agree with you. Okay. Would okay. it be in color? Um, two of them. Two, two of them will be. One of them will not be. Yes. Um. It's worth a shot. <laughs> this is another subject. Are we done with this? Yeah, yeah I just, I just yeah. want to bring that. That's the only thing, because I want to fill some time here. You know, our agenda. I'm always on your agenda. <laughs> um, anyway, go ahead. Has Doris said anything about when she wants to have another, the other? Doris has been in Vegas. No. Oh. She's been running around. Mm -hmm. That needs to happen before the end of the year, correct? Should happen now. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, we talked about that because she said when she got back, she'd deal with it more. Yeah, I think she did say that the last time she was here. Mm -hmm. But she wasn't ready for it either. <laughs> yeah. She didn't have. No. What is Ladonia coming in? Well, there's something I was surprised about. Mm -hmm. Was it truancy? Yeah. In school systems, that it's our responsibility? Were you aware of that, Dean? No. Huh? You're the truant officer? Yes. We're not the truant officer, necessarily. No. But it is the county's responsibility to prosecute those that are truant that get turned in. By Kansas statutes, if they have two unexcused absences in some nine weeks, or I forget the dates now, but anyway. We would hire CJ as a consultant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess Liberal had a, a big, a huge, huge problem. problem. Huge problem. And yeah, still a big problem. 56 kids that. Court, medical court, so that. So it's, it, you need to talk to Joe about it. Yeah, I guess so. Because it, the school is to notify the county attorney, and the county attorney is supposed to. Do we know if we have a problem? Yes, we do. I've had we several complaints. I talked to Bergen yesterday. He said he had, on an average, three or four truant kids in St. John every day. But well, what they've done with liberals hired this Ivanhoe. Excuse me? <laughs> this guy's named Ivanhoe. Oh, okay. And he get, took this, built this program pom -pom. that deals with these true kids. Really? They they have, have, he's in charge of it and he has three officers. And they pay, they have a $150,000 budget paid a third by the schools, a third by the cities, and a third by the county. And these kids come in once a week. 
while they're on probation and appear before, what is it, one commissioner, the judge? They have a panel, a jury, yeah. of, and a judge. Yeah. Yeah. Well, along with the, the parents have to come in with them. Truancy court. Yeah. And then the truant officers goes and monitors like every, every day. Every day. I, I told Mike Bergen that he ought to just have the superintendent or I would know come out here and just have a Stafford County meeting and have them visit with the school because they, they would have to kind of well, initiate have, that. And if we don't have nothing in place, uh, it's probably something to work on to get with something in place. I, I asked Mike, I said, could one guy, if he was the right guy, do all of the Stafford County? But he said, oh, yes, yeah. one guy could do all of Stafford County and said it four like they had in liberal. It'd be neat if uh, like a group in liberal would, would get like a, cent like a central Kansas group that would do something like that. This, uh, <clears throat> but I don't know how has this company basically because yeah. it makes money doing it. But he's yeah. private. Yeah, he's privately. But he would come out. I, mean, that's I don't know if he would or not. I'm sure he would. Oh, I'll bet you would. Yes. I would think the superintendent would certainly come out to meet with the other school board, or the school board and the <coughs> superintendent. But I would know he's the one that actually yeah. knows how it works. He's so a West Point graduate. Yeah. yeah. And it's, it's pretty tight graduation. Their, their graduation rate in liberal was 68%. And it's now up over 80% in yeah. a year or two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it, the other end of the deal is if they don't successfully go through a truancy court, then it does get handed over to the well, county yeah. attorney. And, and then the same judge that heard the case the first time, though. Yeah. So they already have some background of what mm -hmm. they're trying to do. But the county attorney does have to go ahead and file yeah. the papers. I was told, I don't know if this is true, that our county or attorney made the statement to the school officials that he does not do truancy. I wouldn't mind asking him that question. He might be down today. He doesn't know. Because we don't know. We, you hear things like that, you don't know for sure if that's really the case. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what I passed you guys out, that's the initial tax sale filing that Joe did yesterday upstairs. There's about 17 um, tracks that are that are going to be in there, um, equaling about like 20, over $24,000 for the tax sale. Um, the, to redeem those tracks now, you have to go up to district court to pay them. We won't be able to accept the payments down in our office. For those. Um, he's looking at about April or May to have the, the tax sale, but he hasn't set a date yet on it. Um, the other thing is that the tax statements did go out. They were mailed out should have been delivered by the 13th. So if people haven't received them, you might want to tell them to give us a call. Do you guys have any questions? How's come on uh, the hospital they combined those two things to where it shows that there's a 39% increase in the hospital city? We have to combine that because of the state abstract. All that stuff works together in our system. The state did not like that I had that broken out as a separate line item on my abstract. So I had to combine that, and so thus it combined into the tax system. So the no fund warrant in the hospital budget? If you look on your tax right. statements, it's combined. Mm -hmm. But then it's also listed separately that the no fund warrants went to zero. Well, uh, that's not because, necessarily zero. Because it was on there last year. That's why it's still listed on there. Okay. It's awful confusing to yeah. people. Well, I, would, I have the same question but with someone. It, it, they're just combined now. I guess that's 
Okay. And it's a state requirement. That's what I had to do for the state abstract because they didn't want that separate bond or had it out there for the hospital But it, it all works together. I mean, flows together. I thought they'd have an ambulance run for a couple of days. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> no, we just about that the day. Oh, uh, man. Take him to the hospital. <laughs> I can see it. He's not with us. That's insane. Yeah, so there's not much left. Yeah. I tried to explain that to him. Yeah. I think he's good. Figured it out. I thought that one property on, uh, on Union Street in Stafford was in the rear. Um, I think there were a couple of them that that were, but Joe didn't buy it. We don't know why. Those are just the ones that he filed upstairs. What cities are these in? Maxville. Maxville. Uh, I think there's some in Stafford. Well, I know that, but how do you tell by the foot um, Well, I could probably tell I can tell by their streets. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, like in the so, abbreviated legal. NBC means Maxwell City. Oh, okay. uh, SDC would be Seward City. Okay. SS, Stafford, St. John, 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 St. That's not the one here. No, here it is. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <coughs> same, same owner as the high school. Mm -hmm. So then where would this one be? Out in the country? Out in the country, but um, if I had to guess, it's like St. John, but that one's out in the country because of the 911 address. And that there's no city attached to it. So it would um, be just like the top one, um, that would be mm -hmm. out in the country. So, <coughs> but the good news was, was how many that were in the rear, so it paid. Because um, wasn't there like 40 some yeah, on the there list? There was a initially? lot in the, initially in the rears, and a lot of people have come in and pay out. Now, usually now they just when they come in, like I'm sure they'll put it in the paper, and then they usually come in and ask us, and then like we tell them now we can't redeem them in our office. They have to go upstairs to district court and do it, and then the district court will send us a, a, a part portion of it. Okay. Any other questions? No. Okay. It's in color. Yeah, I think the ones in, some of them are paid. Right. The ones in blue, those are the ones that he didn't put on. They're not in the tax no. sale. But they, I believe they qualify for the tax sale, but he didn't put them on. Those are the ones in blue. That's a pretty high price. Well, that's a one, one has mowing on it. Okay. Okay. Right. Thanks. You Thank guys you. have a good day. You too. Thank you. You're the same. Did, uh, Carolyn decide whether we were having a meeting on Monday or I think so. Monday twenty fourth. At seven. Yes. Mm -hmm. I heard, haven't heard back whether she decided to yeah, work about time was for me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do you have anything else? I don't. Or recess. No.
once things are over, we'll come to here. All right. Oh, you, okay. 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 Some um, added to the base and so forth, uh, which add, add up to about the same amount right now you want. I just want to tell thanks to you guys for last week, your support and everything. Boy, we did a lot of work. Yeah. And then uh, I was going to kind of give you the update on the uh, wind and the, the oil. Um, I went up back up there and yesterday I talked to the uh, Eric Reed, he's the superintendent for Ellsworth School District, because they have their meeting in December, the first part of December, and they they take amendments also and so forth. And he's going he's gonna to try to get the schools to adopt the oil and then pick up a statement for the wind. Because where we talked, you know, the, the schools are typically left out of the Aruba taxes anyway. So they would they would vote more for an amendment than the counties would. Is that who's that to the Kansas Association of School Boards or who is uh, either like school boards or education. Uh, the education. But they're taking a, they they meet the first week of December okay. in Kansas City. Did yeah, they change any the oil stuff? The numbers or nothing? No, or just left it. No, they, well, it was, the discussion that started there, <laughs> I, I wondered if they Well, were. we basically dropped any of the numbers out of it. We um, just made a broad general statement. statement. Uh, and then um, uh, Kim Barnes, and I'm not surely, I'm not, you know Kim Barnes from Pawnee County Co op? Oh, yeah. yeah. Anyway, he called me yesterday and he's, he went to a meeting. He's on a, a board for, uh, for the feeders. Is there a, I'm not sure what their association is. Livestock is at KLA? Something. Anyway, they're meeting actually today and tomorrow, and he's going to address both of those with them also to see if they will adopt them also. So I think we're trying to work on more organizations. More organizations so when we go to word it in front of legislatures, it won't be just us against the big oil companies that will be a lot of uh, yeah. So and I think I'm gonna to continue to work on that, see how many more we can mm -hmm. we can get to help us with that so, so anyway, but uh else is doing okay. So, I did visit with a couple legislators after we got back and they thought that sounded good. So I think we can get it together. They also said that they, there, there was some discussion with the budget deficit of putting a cap on the income tax to where over a certain level it might go back to where it was at before, which for the conservatives to even think about something like that would be kind of shocking, but mm -hmm. he said there is some talk about that. Maybe Fifty or hundred thousand dollars, and you're back to where you were at before on the income tax level. But like to generate a little more money. Okay. Very good. That's all I had. I'm gonna get out of here. We're trying to get a meeting now. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. You have to wait till I get your amendment printed out for your. Well, remember that. <laughs> So oh, we, have we, more we have more abatements. We have more abatements today. I'm, I'm printing your handbooks now. And you're okay. not print okay. So you may have to stay till like nine fifteen. Oh, we yes. should have bought a faster printer. Um, I am going to send uh, Anita the um, um, at the KC meeting the uh, Department of Revenue. They had a PowerPoint, which was actually pretty good. And so I had them send it to us, and then I'm going to email it to Anita, and then she'll have it if you guys uh, want to see it or anything like that. So. I'll send that out to the team. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. And Joe's here. Um, I got it. He was here yesterday. Yeah. Can they pull? I know it's Midwest. Yeah, recess. Yeah, no recess. <laughs> These tax roll corrections. Uh, uh, the chairman can get busy signing that one. I'll second that. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve the tax roll corrections. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Anything else? I don't have nothing. Okay. Meeting adjourned.